I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White... Oh, Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. What a dick! Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. I don't think that's big enough. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. That's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. I'm moving like three I meters away. Understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. Crane was carrying it. Part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, however. Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history yeah. with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. You said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours and hours and hours. My responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, baby. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? 
Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Tub. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. What's his problem? Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. <laughs> Did you take care of Toad? I mean, the irony. I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out, so we get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand, or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired! Sweet. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way, so please. Please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Letty Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So... Where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. And we can clean him and cook him together. Yeah. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice.
time to go off and get myself killed. Awesome. This is seriously creepy. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. Oh, Tiny Tim. What day is it? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard or an escort for that matter I get it you have a job to do but you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy whatever you may think of him he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid I think he gets what it's like he gave me a job and I'm lucky to have it this is the only option I've got Forrest Gump just keep that in mind maybe because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. Am I some kind of fucking joke? What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Tell me who the fuck is back there. I ain't scared I I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. The boss is there. He'll come around. Not much. I might cream before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful kid. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! I was wondering when you turn oh, up. Oh, jeez, that is creepy. I'm sorry, sir. He, he wouldn't let it's me. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need. To help them find it. Well, 
Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Really? That was a really short episode. I've heard stories about you. Bloody Mary. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, now they scream. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. So everyone's starting to call him back. I know everyone kept calling in. A lot of people tried to... I didn't really try to remove it. 50-50. Uh, uh, 73, not bad. I, I Yeah, I did a weird run, but whatever. It was fun. Alright, so that was episode 4. Um, that was a lot shorter than expected, as I said. It kind of ended on a cliffhanger. There wasn't any real climax to the story other than I found a door <laughs> with the mirror's health. Like, I don't know. Felt like filler, but you know what? Hopefully the series ends on a good note. I'm looking forward to episode 5, because, you know, Telltale Games, I have a lot of faith in. And I guess I'm gonna try and like upload more videos because, you know, I have been busy and I'm gonna try to get on that. So until next time, I'll be seeing you guys around. <laughs>